hello here welcome to another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can make your email subscribers update their profile in your mailchimp database you might be wondering what is the importance of this actually one of the importance of this is actually to collect some information for example like their birthday you know most of the time on your website or on website that you have visited you will notice that most people don't even ask for birthday and part of the ways to get closer to your audience is actually sending them messages on their birthday because most people take that day as a very very special day so just imagine um a company actually sends you a message on your birthday and other competitors don't most of the time if you want to buy something at least you remember the person that you remember the company that actually remembered you so that is just it so this can actually also work out for you too, because if you are using email marketing for your business which is which is very good so if you are doing that you need to actually get people's birthday and how you can do that they need to give it to you by themselves so if you want to get your subscribers birthday one of the ways you can do it is actually collecting it from your website but it will not really be a good idea because most of the time people don't really like filling long forms so once they just fill their email address and they name it enough so but you can actually send them a message in their mail to update their profile by putting the link to give them their birthday so let me just show you how to do that so to do that what you just need to do so let us assume we want to just send a normal campaign to them so you can just go to campaigns so click on create campaign so you can see regular email so i'll just click on design email then you can go down here you can see design email so you just click on design email here then we can decide to select either classic builder or new builder so but I'll, let me just use classic builder for this so right here you can see different templates here so we can select anyone or you can decide to go to teams and decide to select any one of your choice so but i'm just going to just pick one let me just look for one i usually like selecting this one so let me just take this so this is the template so what you can just do you can decide to make your edits you can decide to change the logo by clicking this you can decide to change this heading and so many things so just make it look good and presentable to your audience and you can decide to also then you need to change this text obviously it's not going to make sense sending them this text as a template so you can just write something like maybe um maybe we care about your birthday profile or whatever or anything that people are collecting so it depends you just understand you under, you understand what i'm trying to say so you just need to write about what the email is all about so then after all you are done then you can let me remove this one then you can decide to put the your call to action so this is your button so you need to put it it's very 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 important so you put it here so right here you can see this web address url so it's very very important you just put in the link here so you can copy this and i'm also going to put it in my description so you can copy it from there or you can just type it directly here so you can just see update underscore profile then you need to put this and the star sign so that is just it and this way you can see buy now obviously it's not going to make sense because you are not telling them to buy anything you're actually asking them to update their profile or you can just put like um update your birthday update your birthday update your in that profile or we can say your birthday or you can write maybe what's your birthday just something something just something you you already know what i'm talking about what's your birthday things like that so once you are done you just click on save and close so to check if it's working what you can just do is just to click on preview right here so you can see enter preview mode I can decide to send it as a test mail to yourself but i don't want to go through all that so i'll just click on preview mode right here so this is what is this is what they're going to receive or this is how they are going to see it so you can see this place what's your bed is you can just click on it just to test it out then you can see right here the form has come for them to update their profile so you can see it's asking them to put their email address and normally we want to collect like their birthday or maybe other information that wins from them because obviously for them to get this email we already have their email address so what in order to fix this kind of issues if you are finding yourself in this kind of problem all you just have to do 
<laughs> you need to go to your audience field so let us go to our audience field so i'll just cancel this so let me open it in a new tab let me go to the main let me go to the home page so you can see so this is the audience right here i'll just click on audience then right here you can see view contacts i'll click on view contacts then right here you can see settings so i'll just click on settings then if you can see right here you can see that audience field and merge tags so i'll click on this so this is where we are going to do all the settings so right here you can see all the rules we have so we have the email address name last name address phone number and birthday so you can decide to add any other field if you want depending on what you want to collect because sometimes it might not be birthdays you want to collect specifically it might be maybe company information or company birthday or anniversary date or things like that you already know what i'm talking about so what you just need to do you just need to click on add a field then select whatever you want and you put it there so this is birthday so the reason why why we're seeing only email right here so you can see this only email address so this is why we're seeing only email address right here is because email um only email address is ticked as visible right here so but for the others nothing is ticked as visible so whatever you want to be ticked of whatever you want people to feel all you just need to do is just to click on visible in front of it so you can see this is birthday right here i just need to click on visible so if you want to collect any that's maybe first name or last name or phone number or whatever i can just click on visible right here for first name and if you want to make it required like compulsorily you must feed it before they proceed you can decide to click this box if you want so let me just leave all this for now then i can just click on save changes and boom our changes is saved so all you just need to do if you can if i go back here and if i refresh this you will see that all those slots has been added so you can see now we have the email address we have the first name we have the birthday so whenever you send the email to people so they are going to receive this form for them to update their profile but the reason why we are seeing this this in red is because we actually we're actually testing it so but they won't see this so you don't need to be scared about this so they, they once they fill this their email address their first name their birthday then they'll click on update profile so automatically it's going to be updated inside your audience inside your audience then from there you can now decide to speak you can now decide to send them messages on their birthday and at the same time you can also prepare an automation that will send them a message on their birthday automatically so i'm going to show you how to do that in the next video so if you learned something into this video please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell and if you have any question please let me know in the comment box below i'm going to answer to every single question that you have and if you want me to you know if you have any issues or you want me to work with you personally with in your email marketing business you can send me a message on fiber the link is also in the description below so you can click there to meet with me on fiber i'm fully available to help you out so thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video